This tutorial will show you how to create an EPUB digital book using Pages. You may know Pages as a word processing application, but another great feature it has is the ability to easily create EPUB digital books that can be downloaded to an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone and read as a digital book using the iBooks app. This is a good tool for teachers who can easily turn their lesson plans into EPUB digital books and then distribute them directly to their students or post them on the AASB K-12 iTunes U site. Your digital book can be simple or complex, but it offers a wonderful new way to go beyond static text and communicate information incorporating compelling and engaging multimedia-rich technology right in the book pages. Some elements that you can include in an EPUB digital book are text, photos, video, audio, and hyperlinks to web content. A couple of things to keep in mind when creating an EPUB digital book are first, that documents created using the regular pages layout templates you may be familiar with cannot be exported to the EPUB format. Pages requires specific paragraph styles to be followed to successfully export an EPUB digital book. Secondly, digital books created in pages cannot be read on a computer. To read your EPUB document, it first must be transferred to a mobile device such as an iPad. Then, using the iBooks app, you can read the EPUB file as a digital book on the iPad. A sample document is provided on the CDL website at the address on your screen that includes paragraph styles and other formatting attributes optimized for export to the EPUB format. You will need to download the sample document and use it as a template to create your own document by replacing the text and other content with your own. To prepare your digital lesson plan for posting on the AASB K-12 iTunes U site, the following elements will need to be included. First, a title page with the title of the lesson plan, the author, and any graphics or photos to illustrate it. Next, a table of content showing the chapters and sections of the books. Next, an introduction providing a brief summary of the unit that also includes standards and GLEs. Then, a brief bulleted list of objectives for the lesson. And a resources page with resources embedded within the document. These resources can include text, photos, video, audio, and hyperlinks to additional web content. Formative and summative assessments should be included. And, finally, copyright language. In preparation for creating your EPUB digital book, First, assemble all photos and movies to be included in the document in an iPhoto folder. The content in this folder can be accessed from your Pages document using the Media button located on the top bar. Next, download and open the sample EPUB document from the CDL website. It includes the paragraph styles and other formatting attributes that are optimized for Pages to export to the EPUB format. You will need this document because it contains paragraph styles that are not in a regular Pages document. Once you've downloaded and opened the sample document, open the Styles drawer by clicking on the View button on the top bar at left. This accesses the menu of EPUB paragraph styles. When your document is exported as an EPUB file, you have the option of making the first page the book cover. This book cover is also turned into a thumbnail image that is used as the icon for your book in the iBooks library. To personalize the cover, highlight the title text and type in the title of your lesson plan. Then, highlight the author text and type in your name. Next, click on the Media button to select a new cover photo from the iPhoto file folder you made earlier. Drag and drop the photo you've selected on top of the existing cover photo to replace it. The background color of the cover page can be changed by clicking on the background, clicking on the inspector button, clicking on the color fill button, and selecting a new color. When preparing a pages document to be exported in EPUB format, all elements must be in line, not floating. The only exception to this rule is the background color on the cover page. It is the only floating element that will remain intact when the file is exported in the EPUB format. On page 2, a table of contents will automatically be generated, allowing readers to jump quickly to any chapter title, heading, or subheading in the book. 
To achieve this, EPUB paragraph styles must be correctly applied to all text within the document. On page 3, highlighting the chapter, heading, or body text in the document, highlights the paragraph styles of each type of text in the style drawer. Replace the text in the sample document with text from your lesson plan and use the paragraph styles in the style drawer to format your text. If you're copying and pasting text from another document, it will save you time to use the edit menu command paste and match style. Be sure to use the correct paragraph styles for your chapter names, headings, and subheadings as this is necessary for the auto-generation of the table of contents. To insert a multimedia file, place the blinking cursor where you'd like it to go. Then, click on the Media button, select a file from the menu, drag it into the document, and place it over the blinking cursor. The file will appear where the cursor was placed, and a blue line will indicate where the file is locked to. Make sure the Inline button is selected in the menu bar. It's important to remember that all multimedia files must be placed in line rather than floating. That way, as the text changes size, the media will flow right along with it. To adjust the size of the multimedia file, click and drag the bottom right corner of the adjustment box to the size you want. To position it, click on the file to select it. The text may not wrap around the file the way you'd like, but there are some limited options for positioning it. On the top bar, you can select the drop-down menu just to the right of the inline and floating buttons, which gives you three options, left, right, and center, for positioning the file on the page. Or, you can click on the inspector and use the wrap inspector tool, which has a similar set of options. Using these tools, you can experiment to position the file where you'd like it on the page. Remember, all media files placed within the document must be set to inline, not floating. To add a hyperlink, select the text you'd like to appear as the link, click the link tool in the inspector, and paste in your URL. Once you've updated all media files to be inline and ensured that all of the text in your document matches the paragraph styles, return to page 2, the table of contents, and click on the text once. This will update the table of contents to match the information you've changed in the document. Once you've saved your document, from the File menu choose Export and click on the EPUB icon. Fill in the title and author boxes, and in the Genre box, type K-12 Education. Check the box that says Use First Page as Book Cover Page and click Next. A pop-up screen will appear saying that floating objects aren't supported by the EPUB format. This screen may be alerting you that there is a floating object on the title page. If you're confident that there are no other floating objects within the document, you can ignore this screen. You can now name your EPUB file and export it to the desktop. Your EPUB digital book is now ready to be shared, posted, or sent to an iPad. It cannot be viewed on a computer. To transfer the EPUB file to an iPad, open iTunes and drag the file into the iTunes library area. When the iPad is synced, the EPUB book will be copied onto the device. Your EPUB digital book can then be viewed using the iBooks app. Check the layout of the EPUB digital book on the iPad to see that the text and graphics are formatted correctly in both the landscape and portrait orientations. Colors and layout in the EPUB file may not be identical to those in its pages counterpart. Make any necessary adjustments to the pages file, re-export the corrected file as an EPUB document, sync it with the iPad through iTunes, and recheck the formatting. Repeat these steps until you're satisfied with how the formatting of your digital book appears on the iPad. You are now part of Education's Digital Publishing Revolution.